Welcome. In this video, we will learn how to set up a drone simulation using Mission Planner and analyze the flight logs to understand drone behavior. Let's get started. First, you need to download the Mission Planner application. You can download it using, you can directly search for Mission Planner or you can go to ardupilot.org and you can download it from there. Then install the software and when you install and open the software, you will go get to this page. As you can see on the top right section, no drone is connected. So first what we do need to do is we need to connect a drone type which we are going to make a simulation of. On the top right bar you can see here simulations. Click on the simulations option. Then you will be taken to a screen. Here you can see multiple types of like plane, rover, multicopter, helicopter. You can also choose a model. Uh, let us go with hexacopter. Now click on uh, multicopter and download stable version for this. Wait for some time. After downloading still software, you will get a version. After the loading is over, you will get to this screen. As you can see, you will be directed to this screen. You will show here. Now let us create a plan in which we will fly our drone. This is the where our home location is. As you can see, you can see your drone. Let us create a plan according to this road. As you can see below here, these are all the waypoints just you set. You can change what the functions of the waypoints will be. Like uh, let's change this 11th position to be RTL. You can also change the radius that they are gonna fly. In. Let's change uh, all the altitudes for like uh, 20. After you have completed all changing all the altitudes, you can change various other things like what the command then perform, what the angle, what the distance will be and uh, I will show you something. As you can see here, this is the radius of the waypoint. Uh, what it means is when the drone will fly, uh, fly from point 4 to point 5. No, let's uh, see from point 0.3 to point 0.5 it will go through point 0.4 first right so what the will the drone do instead of going to point 0.4 at the center it will have a radius 2 meter radius which we have set here as you can see vp radius is 2 it will go to 2 meter radius then it can go from around 2 meter radius it doesn't need to go to the center point uh, we can change it uh, like uh, if we do it like 20 here the radius will change here the radius will change let us keep it as 2 okay after changing all things uh, what you have to do is uh, you can uh, you have to click on write fast or just click on write option then your plan will be sent to the data section where you can fly the drone see your plan is now showcasing in data section so let us fly the drone you can go in action bar then you can now let us arm uh, as you can see this is our plan now let us arm the drone uh, you have to click arm then you have to right click and you have to click take off and take off altitude you can set here ok now our drone will start to rise as you can see here the distance is changing the altitude distance is changing and also will so will the speed change drastically now you can put it to auto mode so that it can take its flight now it will continue and complete its whole uh, what we have planned it will complete and it will come back to this section
once the drone is landed after the plan is executed the drone will land and it will disarm as we have uh, our 12th, 12th option was return to launch right so the drone will land and it will disarm so now let's review a log first you need to disconnect your drone and then uh, you can go to the rightmost option data flash logs then review a log and uh, first go to mission planners then this ideal all the others log of other uh, drones will be we have chosen a hexa drone so we'll go to hexa logs and bin file here uh, you can see this is our this is the plan we just created and you can see all other activities you can see all the parameters of your drone here like uh, what type of drone it was what type of how many motors it has or how many uh, what what flights would we use all that parameters of the drone can be seen here let us check uh, the gps logs uh, just right click here we will see a drop down menu you can check all other things first we'll go and check our gps section and apply filter here you can here you can see all the latitudes and longitude what our drone played went through through all our flight section you can export for visible and you can have this in csv file you can analyze all the things here let's further analyze the log file we just downloaded as you can see this is the log file we just downloaded output.csv when we open this file this will obviously open in excel uh, here you can see all the data here are the latitude and longitude where our path uh, let us create a chart showcasing our path which we just did our flight As you can see, this is the flight path we just completed with our drone. Uh, you can further analyze uh, this data for each and every file. You can go and take all the charts. You can review the charts and you can have it an Excel file. Thank you. That's all for data analysis, uh, the Excel sheet analysis.